In my future aquaponics system, I will initially grow tomatoes, cucumbers, and leafy greens. Do you advise a sequence of how to do the plumbing? No filters straight to the buckets? Does the distribution of water influence the distribution of nutrients in an aquaponic system? The school of aquaponics. Okay, so you're inquiring about a hybrid setup and how I would suggest to do the plumbing on this type of setup. You're using a Dutch bucket system to grow the um, cucumbers and the tomatoes, and you're also using a deep water culture system to grow the leafy greens. So the way I I'm going to give you two um, options to, uh, to set this up. Um, we're going to first we're going to present to you the preferred method, and then I'm going to present to you the alternate method. I mean, you can choose either one of these, whichever one you see fits best uh, for your circumstance and what you feel most comfortable with. So the way I would set this up, and we actually have a hybrid system set up, so I'm just going to give you the way we set it up. So we have our sump tank. That's where we have our pump at, which is going to come up. Everything is going to be pressurized in this system. Everything, each one of the systems, including the fish tank, is under pressure. We split the flow. One line is going all the way down across um, the section of each one of the individual uh, systems. So we have it going across, and it's a piece of that is going to split off, come inside the deep water culture system, where we can adjust the flow and deal with it individually um, as if it's the only component that is inside of the system. And then from there, we can the rest of the pipe will go across. We'll have it come up um, and run a pipe across the Dutch buckets. And we also have a ball valve on that where we can control the flow rates that are going into, um, into the Dutch buckets. And then from there, the outlet or the drain of the Dutch buckets will connect into one return line, which will run all the way across. And the deep water culture system outlet will connect to this as well. And it'll all drain back into the sump tank. And that'll take care of that portion um, the, the growing portion. And then this, it's a separate uh, pipe that's going across, split across, that's under pressure going to the fish tank. We can control that, um, increase uh, uh, velocity, decrease velocity. And then from there, the outlet of the fish tank will connect to a solids filter. And then the solids filter will eventually return the water back into the sump tank. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Simple. Simple. Now, the downside of doing it this way is that you have to have a larger pump. So that is a, a, a con for doing this system. That would be the, the only con is you have to have a larger pump because you have to be able to supply pressure to all points of the system. So the, 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 the um, fish tank needs a certain water flow rate uh, to maintain that. Um, and if you didn't have to add pressure to the other uh, portion of this um, system, then we would only have to worry about the uh, flow rate needed for the uh, fish tank. But since we have the other components, we have to upsize the, the, uh, the pump. And for me and my experience, it's well worth it. But for some of you out there who may be on a budget, pockets might be full of lint and you don't really have much money to, to, to spend and you're trying to just really, uh, um, uh, you, you know, save as much as you can, then you may be able, you may have to go to the second option, which is going to save you, a, uh, you know, a little bit on the monthly bill for the water pump and also um, a little bit of resource as far as the extra pipes that are needed um, in this type of setup. So let's go to the other setup, option number two, for people with lint in their pockets. So this is the option number two here. It's the infamous uh, gravity feed system. And it's definitely more complicated when you start adding hybrid systems. Um, it's not something that I personally like to do or that I even recommend, but some of you guys are gonna do it regardless. You're going to get out there and do it regardless. So I might as well try to give the best tips as possible to help uh, lessen the amount of frustration that you can experience um, doing these type of systems. So here we have the, um, we'll start with the fish tank. The fish tank go, has an outlet and the outlet is going to connect to the, uh, the Dutch buckets because you asked the question if we needed a solids filter. In the first equation, we did need a solids filter because of the deep water culture system. It needed something to filter the water before going inside of the deep water culture system from the fish tank. So the fish tank area um, had a filter coming out of it. So once we brought it into the deep water culture system, most of the solids had been filtered out. But in this scenario, the Dutch buckets would act as a solids filtration uh, unit. So that's why we wouldn't need a separate filter for this uh, type of setup. But it would come out of the deep water, I mean, of the uh, fish tank Boom, outlet, and it will connect 
to the deep water, uh, deep water, to the Dutch buckets, excuse me, and then it would come from the Dutch buckets. There would be a pipe that all those would connect to, and they would shoot down to the deep water culture system. The deep water culture system, at the end of that, would uh, then uh, uh, carry the water back down to the sump tank. The sump tank has a pump in it. Boom, shoots it right back up, and we're in rotation. So here it is right here. You know, I already know that when we're dealing with these hybrid systems, we have to get our Einstein E equals MC square on. This is just the way the ball game goes. So we have to bring Einstein out real quick in order to pick his brain to figure out the calculations needed to make this hybrid fancy system work. So the idea of this system is going to be based off of the tank, off of the fish tank. The fish tank is going to dictate pretty much everything else when we're dealing with this type of setup. Um, let's say we have a fish tank that is 100 gallons. Uh, and we're running it, we wanna have a water exchange rate of about uh, one time per hour. So we're gonna need a pump that's gonna be at least um, 100 gallons per hour of, uh, of flow. So that's gonna come in. We have that coming from the sump tank. Boom, we have 100 gallons per hour flowing in. What does that mean from the outlet? We need 100 gallons per hour flowing out of the outlet. Boom, so what is that gonna come into? It's gonna connect into the Dutch buckets. Well, we have a certain amount of Dutch buckets here and we need to divide the amount of flow coming out of the outlet by the amount of uh, Dutch buckets that we have. So let's say in this case, in, in, this, in this scenario, we have three Dutch buckets here. We have 100 gallons per hour coming out, so that's about 33.33 uh, uh, gallons per hour for each of the Dutch buckets. Now, realistically, that's not gonna work. You can't get 33 gallons per hour flowing into a, a five gallon Dutch bucket especially if you're growing tomatoes or cucumbers, because as the roots begin to expand, the root expansion is gonna cause a blockage which is gonna start restricting the flow coming in. So you're only gonna be able to get so, a certain amount of flow coming in because those roots are there hindering it from uh, flowing fast enough to get to the outlet. If you don't believe me, anybody out there don't believe it, go ahead and try it yourself. Try to run 33 gallons per hour um, through a, a Dutch bucket with tomatoes and then you'll find out. But to those that are gonna believe and follow along we can't do this we can't do this right here so what we need to do is what we do is we have about five gallons per hour flowing through each uh each bucket that's what we pretty much uh, uh do it as so we would take the hundred gallons per hour coming out of the um the fish tank that we need to have there's no option there's no way to get rid of that we have to have 100 gallons coming out and we just divide that by five gallons since we know that each a bucket is going to uh, accept five gallons. This is going to give us the amount of Dutch buckets needed to accept the total outlet flow. So 100 divided by five, that's 20. So we would need 20 Dutch buckets with each of these at five gallons per hour flow rate to, uh, uh, to accept the outlet flow coming from the fish tank if we were going at these rates. So thank you, Einstein. We figured this part out. So we would need 20 if we had 100 gallons coming out, 100 gallons per hour coming out. Boom, so we have that figured out now. So the outlet from each of the um, Dutch buckets um, would come into a, a one pipe. They would connect all into one pipe, which would then feed into the deep water culture system. And the deep water culture system has, there's a certain flow rate that is needed for the deep water culture system to work properly. Because you can't have a small flow rate going in the deep water culture system. The, it, if you have a four by eight system, I don't know how large your system is, but if you have a, a, a standard four by eight system, it's gonna hold about 239 gallons. So you can't just put 10 gallons per hour flowing through that because the plants are gonna suck up that oxygen very quick and they're uh, eventually gonna deplete um, the, all the nutrient source out of that water. It's not being replenished fast enough. So, um, but with this setup here, with the 100 gallons per hour, that would work for the deep water culture system. That would work, that exchange rate is fast enough to uh, replenish the nutrient and the oxygen levels um, in, that, in, in the system. And then from there, it would just come back down um, and connect to the sump tank, and voila, we have graduated physics class with an A+. No, I'm just messing, but this is pretty much how you would have to calculate it um, if you're gonna run it this way. So these are the two options you have, the gravity-fed way or the, um, the pressurized way. And you can decide and you can customize them you know, however you want. Um, but it is pretty much going to come down to looking somewhat similar to the way that these setups are, um, are presented. So good luck with the setup. 
Hopefully everything works in your favor. Hopefully you don't have too many uh, obstacles, whichever way you decide to um, set it up. And hopefully you become one step closer to becoming an aquaponics god. Woo!